Good afternoon, everyone. This is Sean Heideman, designated broker with Position Realty. We have something new and exciting to offer our sellers. Uh, what it's called a reverse seller contingency. So how that works is um, you can put your property on the market and accept an offer from a buyer, but you're not obligated to sell the property until you are able to find another property and put it under contract. And once it goes under contract for the new property you're going to buy, then um, you would move forward with closing on the sale of your property. So if any, anybody would like more information about that um, program, give us a call. Uh, but today we are going over our Phoenix Real Estate Market Report for the month of January. So let's get started with the, uh, the market report. For the first two consecutive months, the number of new listings decreased. But in January, the number of new listings increased from 7,015 listings in December 2020 to 9,039 listings or an increase of 28.9%, which is the largest number of new listings since February 2020 at 9,507 listings to 11,350 listings in March 2020. Last year, we experienced a similar increase in the number of new listings in January 2020 coming on the market with a 41.3% increase in new listings, but their overall number of active listings was also higher. Currently, the number of new listings is back on the market, um, is back above the number of sold transactions each month by 1,680 listings. Therefore, should this continue, the number of active listings will start to increase again. So that's a good sign. Although we had an increase in the number of new listings, the number of active listings decreased by 12%. Since December, we had 10,017 sold transactions and only 7,015 new, um, new listings. The foreclosure moratorium on all Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac home mortgage-backed loans was extended again by the Biden administration to March 31st, 20. 21, which has kept the number of active listings and new listings from increasing. Currently, the number of active foreclosures is at 47 listings or 0.6% of the total market. And we had nine new foreclosure listings in January. In November, there were three short sell listings or 0.4% of the overall market. The number of sold transactions decreased slightly by 25.6% in January from 10,017 transactions in December to 7,359 transactions in January. Since the stay-at-home orders were lifted in June, we have seen an increase in the number of sold transactions since May 2020, but this will only continue as long as our inventory of homes are replenished each month. Low mortgage rates are enticing buyers to absorb the available inventory but with high demand and low inventory, the market has become very competitive for buyers. The average days on market started a downtrend since February 2019 at 72 days on market and has consistently been in a downtrend to the current days on market in January at 44 days on market. In January 2021, the average days on market increased slightly by 4.8% from 42 days on market in December to 44 days on market in January. Since February 2019, the average days on market have decreased 38.9%. The Phoenix housing market ended 2020 exceeding the national average with an overall annual appreciation rate of approximately 18.3%. The last two years have <clears throat> been good to those who have owned real estate, but has, been, has made it more difficult for buyers to qualify for mortgage financing. Since December 2020, the average sold price increased even more by 2.5% from 432,000 for uh, 422 to 443,334. The sale to original list price increased in December at approximately 99% or an accepted price of 1% below original asking price. The average sale to current list price increased slightly in January 
at approximately 99.7% or an accepted price of 0.3% below current market price. Since May 2019, the months of inventory has hovered around 1.5 months on market where it has fluctuated slightly with the lowest at 0.9 and the highest at 2.31 months. In January 2020, the months of inventory increased to 1.2 months from a historical low of 0.9 months in December. Unless the number of active and new listings increase again, we will continue to see a low months of inventory. Overall, the Phoenix real estate market has become very competitive due to low mortgage interest rates, which are fueling buyers demand and the low rate of new listings coming on the market because sellers are holding off for appreciation. It appears the competitive market of 2004 and 2009 is back. The competitive market is positive signs for sellers, but the buyers, the market will continue to be a seller's market due to low inventory of homes available. If you're planning to purchase a new home during these crazy times, it's best to make your offer as competitive as possible and to use a creative brokerage. And we are able to help buyers purchase a home as smoothly as possible. Please feel free to give me a call if you have any questions or concerns or <clears throat> about if you should buy or sell this year. Looking forward to hearing from you and please stay tuned for the next Phoenix Market Report for next month.